Over the past 30 years, fMRI has become more popular and widely used, with several thousand studies published every year. Before you begin your experiment, you may be curious about where these other studies have found their effects, and you can do so with a technique called meta-analysis. The concept is simple. By taking the average of peak activations across hundreds or thousands of other experiments, we can create maps of where there is overlap among them. This is useful for many different purposes. One, you can create an independent region of interest for your own study, using the meta-analysis map or a sphere around the peak as your mask. Two, you are able to form an accurate idea of where you are likely to find your results, or to compare results you've already obtained to other published studies. And lastly, you can compare different sets of meta-analyses to see where there is significant overlap or where there are significant differences between them. We will begin our overview with Ginger Ale, a popular meta-analysis package that is part of the Brain Map Suite. After exploring all of the different ways that we can use Ginger Ale, we will take a look at other meta-analysis packages as well including web-based tools that are quick, reliable, and don't require any downloads. Meta-analysis is a great way to get familiar with fMRI research, even if you don't have any data of your own. So let's take a look, learn how to use these software packages, and add another method to your skill set.